all right y'all hey y'all welcome back to another video um once i record this video i'm gonna go to the gym i was like let me just let me just go ahead and get this one out the way because this has been in my spirit so clearly this needs to be put out into the world um so today we are going to talk about the difficulties of celibacy so i'm not too sure if you've seen my other videos but you know i am celibate it's been two years and three months now Woo <laughs> hallelujah amen that's a blessing so i'm like okay let me talk about the difficulties like this is definitely something that you know is important right because you know it's not all glitz and glamour please don't think it is it is not all glitz and glamour and it's not easy so i was like okay you know it was dropped into my spirit that um i should make a video about this so anywho anywho and y'all i'm trying this new thing where i'm trying to make my videos at least under 15 minutes 15 minutes and under i'm shooting for 10 but sometimes i could get but 15 minutes is the key mark so just gonna put that out there so anyway number one okay i could no longer use it as a coping mechanism or a release this this is big that that was really big for me um not only because i couldn't use it as a, a coping mechanism but i had to learn how to deal with my emotions like whatever I, whatever i was feeling in that moment or at that time or whatever i couldn't just cover it up anymore i couldn't cover it up i couldn't you know do something else to get my mind off of it you know or find that pleasure to you know cover up what i was feeling or whatever thought was running through my mind um so you know i had to learn how to deal with my emotions up front and you know it was very difficult because liquor and sex went hand in hand during the time that i was sexually immoral and it was very difficult not being able to have either one of them so um you know not only was i not having sex but i was not drinking liquor either so it was like the both things that I went through is like, oh, I can't have it. So that was the first difficulty. Difficulty number two was the withdrawals. Oh my gosh. Never in my life have I ever had strong urges to have sex until I became celibate. This was a telltale sign that that thing really had a hold on me. Never in my life had I ever had her. You know, of course you get the feels and stuff like that, whatever. But the urge, <laughs> the urge was so strong. And this urge led to masturbation. I'm gonna make a different video about masturbation um, because that that is sexually immoral as well. But um, I won't talk about that in this video. And then after masturbation, that led to a, a sickening level of conviction. Like I felt so disgusting afterwards. Like I just felt just not good. Yeah, it, it just wasn't good at all. Um, I really did. I felt disgusting. Um, one, because I made a vow to the father that I would use my body the way that he intended for me to use it. And two, because I was cheating. Like, yes, you're not being penetrated. Yes, you're not, you know, doing all any of the other things. But you are still sinning. You're still sinning. It is a sin. Masturbation is a sin. And God truly revealed that to me. Um, so I threw away my vibrator and had to really repent for using my body in a sexually immoral way. Um, I will say that um, once after after masturbating, I felt just not good. I felt it, it like I said, conviction was really strong. And um as time went on 
that was done for. Like I could I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do it. Just like sex. It, it literally got to the point of how it was with sex. It was just like one day I just couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do it anymore. Like I couldn't do it anymore. Um, so praise God for that, because Lord, that stuff is strong. Number three is resisting temptation in a sexually perverted society. Ugh, y'all. Every time I turn around, and it's still present day, every time I turn around, it's something suggesting, eliciting, or promoting premarital sex. It's everywhere. Everywhere. It's even hidden in little stuff that you don't even know, but 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 it's doing something to you subconsciously that you're not even aware of. And it, y'all, it's serious and it's that deep. It angered me so much. Like it, it angered me so much. It angered me so much in the beginning of my journey because, you know, the same eyes that I have you know, that were once blind were now open to one of the biggest tactics of the enemy. And that is sex and pleasure and instant gratification and getting it right now and how you want it and all of that. I was now aware to this and it made me so angry. So angry just how we're all deceived. That really angered me. Um, And it really, it really got on my nerves because it was something that one, I was trying to stay away from and two, this was a new journey for me. So, you know what I mean? It's just like everywhere I turned, like it, it, it got to a point where it wasn't even hitting on the, 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 the points to make me fall for it. It, it just pissed me off. It's like, all right, now you pissing me off. Now you pissing me off. Cause I'm tired of seeing this everywhere you turn. It's the, it just got to the point where it just, it started to get on my nerves. It was pissing me off and I'm glad. And now, and now I see that it got to that level because what I'm doing right now, that was the plan all along. It was meant for it to irritate me. It was meant to piss me off. It was meant to get me all riled up and angry so that I would do something about it. That's why I'm sitting up here on this camera exposing the tactics of the enemy. Because what can the kingdom of darkness do to me? I'm sorry, the doomdom of darkness do to me. Nothing, Nothing at all. I serve the one and only living God. Y'all don't want no smoke. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is so. So back to my video. I just had to let... Ooh! I just had to say that. Excuse me. So like I said, you know, this was a deposit for what I am doing present day. The Lord allowed for me for that anger to ignite a fire within me to tell my story and how he has delivered me from that lifestyle of sexual immorality and lustful encounters. Um, I, I have a script here and I'll be trying to stay on script. But <laughs> certain stuff I just got to say got me messed up you must not know my god anywho hmm. no but in all seriousness um if you are struggling right now please know that if you stick with it if you stick with it it will work i promise you you have to stick with it you have to stick with it keep praying Keep asking God for strength. And also, this is very important, y'all. And also, ask him to show you all portals. Ask God to show you all portals that may be open for these sex demons and lustful encounters to sneak into your life. Ask for his help, baby. Ask for his help. Call on him. Be genuine and be real. Okay, if I was typing the paper, I would put that in bold, italicize it, and put it in 72 font. Size font. Call on him. Be genuine and be real. 
Remember, okay? You ain't got to fake when it comes to the Lord. He already knows. <laughs> In case you didn't know that, the Lord already know. <laughs> everything that you've done, everything that I've did, everything that we will do, everything... Everything. He knows everything. Everything. So keep it real with him. Keep it real. He already knows everything. Everything. Alpha and Omega. First and the last. Beginning and the end. The great I am. I am who I am. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name. Y'all be blessed, okay? And watch out for the enemy. Watch out for the enemy. Watch out. He out here. He out here. Watch out for the enemy. For he prowls around like a roaring lion. Seeking whom he may devour. But guess what? And that's 1 Peter 5, 8, by the way. Y'all go read that verse. But guess what? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. You get up under the Lord. You get under his wing. Can't nothing touch you. I promise you. That's a promise. That's a promise. That is a promise. For he promised I will never leave you nor forsake you, oh God. Bless your name, Jesus. Read the Bible, y'all. I'm telling it like it's so comforting. Like once you get past all the here, and it's so many different translations. You don't even have to read the uh, King James version, where you know it might be a little difficult to understand. Thou art and all of that stuff. It can be a bit confusing. It can. So, how long? Okay, I'm at 13 minutes. Ah, I'm about to be under my 15 minute mark. Okay, okay. Anyway, stay alert, be vigilant, and as always. I will catch you all on the next one. Read your Bible. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. Read your Bible, baby. The Lord is waiting to commune with you. Okay? Bye, y'all.